Welcome back. The Lady Commodores getting ready for a big challenge next week. The NJCAA Division I Tournament in Lubbock, Texas. But this one is a little different than the previous tournaments. The Lady Commodores never thought they would be going to the national tournament again this year. Probably a little more special that this team is. Uh, we started out kind of, uh, I, I would have bet my house against it. I don't even have one, but I would have bet the house against us. They started the season with the tragic loss of their teammate, Keyshawn Johnson. And then one month later, Hurricane Michael hit. The team lost a whole month of practice. You know, we were on the road. We were out of school for a month. We were evacuated for two weeks. We traveled three hours round trip to practice for a few weeks. And But the doors did the unthinkable. In the midst of all the tragedy, they pounded through, winning their fourth straight state title and getting the number two seed at nationals. But the stage is a little bigger for them now. You gotta hope that the moment doesn't get us. We, we have to handle the moment. We have to handle the excitement. We have to handle all the coaches being there watching us. So you know, there's a lot more to it than just getting on the court. We've got to figure out all those pieces and hope that they all come together at the right time. Gulf Coast plays in the second round of the national tournament on Tuesday. They will take on the winner of the Walter State and Miles game. But whatever happens, it's still impressive that this team dealing with so much has got to this point. I keep trying to tell myself because I'm so competitive, like, you know, truly try to go enjoy this one a little more. And it, but every time I say that, I don't. But I, I'm certainly going to try to embrace this one a, a little more than probably previous national tournaments.